but I am from Newfoundland. I'm from the East Coast. Uh, it's hard to tell because I don't have a Newfoundland accent, and that's by choice. <laughs> that was a choice because it's very hard to sound cute with a Newfoundland accent. Like, hear me out. I'm going to say the same two sentences, okay? One without the accent, one with. I want you guys to tell me if you hear a difference, okay? So say I'm at a bar, and my friends introduce me to a girl, and I'm just like, um, I'll be like, oh, hey, are you wearing a great big C-shirt? Yeah, I saw their concert last year in, at mile one. Oh, you were there too? No way, I was in section C. You were in section C? Oh my God, can I get you a drink? Smooth. <laughs> Newfoundland accent. Come here, by Mrs. I introduce you to mutter. Like, it's just not, <laughs> like I said the same thing, but God, it sounds so different. Oh, I didn't care for that. But I'm proud to be from the East Coast. We're the nicest people in the world, right? Yeah, a little too nice. Gets a little weird <laughs> how nice we are. Like the first thing we do when someone comes to our house is we offer them a cup of tea, right? And you're like, oh, that's nice, I love tea. But we don't take the tea because we think that's rude. So when someone comes over, nothing happens for the first five minutes, right? Like, hey, buddy, you want a cup of tea? No, buddy, don't be at that. I want to stress you out. No, buddy, put me hand, me lap, and stare at the wall. No, you want tea? You want milk and tea? Freak, buddy, I got the cow out back. I'm looking for you right now. No, buddy, no, much bag of Tetley is. That's not a sense per bag. Save yourself your dollar. Now you can get your cup of tea. And no, I don't want to drink the freaking tea. I don't want to drink the tea. I don't want to drink the tea. I don't want to damn tea. Nicest people in the world. We've never said yes before because we wouldn't know what to do, right? Like, hey, you want a cup of tea? Yeah. Two milk, one sugar, and that guy's like. I don't have any tea. I thought you were gonna say no. Oh my god. What's today? Is today May 26th? Is it the 26th? Today's the 26th? That means my ex got married 138 days ago. <laughs> she got married to the first guy she started seeing after me. They were together less time than we were, and they got married in New York, a trip I planned for us, but we had to cancel because we broke up, and now our wedding photos are on Facebook, and my first part-time job was a wedding photographer? Right? So every time I see these photos, I'm like, ah, damn it, she's out of focus. God damn it, right? And she's overexposed, and she should be standing like this so you can see the whole dress. And he should be dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she gave me this watch I wear because I'm over it. <laughs> it's 8.30. It's not 8.30, it's set to the moment she left. Time and love. It all dies in the end, right? All right, sweet. <laughs> you guys got goals? Nice. I, uh, uh, Here's my goal in life, and clap if you're with me. I just want to grab a bird mid-flight out of the air. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah, this guy, that's the most proud clap. He was like, my brother. Like, it was amazing. I don't know why. It, I've always had this thing. Like, you know, you're, have you ever been to the park, and, like, some birds got spooked, and one flew by you, and there's this little moment inside that's just like, I'm going to get that bird. Like, I don't know why. I've had this feeling my entire life, and I don't know what it is. Is it a dominant species thing, right? Like, if a bird flew by me, I'd grab it and be like, you own the air, but I own the land, and just let it know where I stand. I have no idea. But a friend of mine, he's doing his master's in biology. I was like, he'll know why, right? So we were at a coffee shop, and I was talking to him, and I was like, hey, I just want to grab a bird mid-flight out of the air. Why is that? And he was like, I don't know. But then he told me some fun facts about birds, and he says, well, here's one about pigeons. If there's a blue pigeon amongst the gray pigeons, the gray pigeons will make fun of the blue pigeon for being different. And I was like, oh. And then he looked at me and goes, but birds are so dumb that the blue pigeon will spend his entire life being made fun of, never understand why, then die. And I was like, no. Now I know why I want to grab a bird out of the air. I want a blue pigeon to fly by me, grab it, look it in the eye, and go, you're not alone. We'll be friends with the birds, right? Because we're all blue birds just looking for friends. That's what we are. I was at Young and Dundas, and there was this guy wearing a sweater. And we need to talk about it. He was wearing a sweater. And it, all it said on the sweater was two words in cursive writing. It said diamonds and cars. In cursive writing, because he didn't want to put it in common, Comic Sans, because then he'd look like an idiot, right? Like, what, what are you doing wearing a shirt that says diamonds and cars? Never have I ever seen a shirt that said two things on it that made it look like you can't afford those two things, okay? If you're wearing a shirt that says diamonds and cars, guess what? You can't afford any diamonds and cars. You've never seen diamonds or cars. You haven't even used diamonds to buy a car, okay? If being cool is wearing a shirt that says two things you can't afford, I'm getting a shirt that says chapstick and butter, okay? And you guys laugh, but it's a great shirt, right? Yeah, my name is Ryan Dillon. Thank you guys so much. You're gonna enjoy the rest of the show. Give it up for Kara Connors. Keep it going for Ryan.